Hey, so first video of 2019. Already this year I've spoken to loads of agency owners uh, all with one common goal and that is to grow their recruitment agencies in 2019. So I guess the first video of the year I thought would be really, really good to do one about um, how to build a high performing recruitment team for 2019. So the whole concept of what makes a good recruiter and what's needed to create a high performance recruitment team has changed a lot in the past five to 10 years. Yet as an industry, we're still stuck in our ways. We look at the same old shit KPIs, techniques and strategies when building our teams. But this needs to change if we want to continue getting the best out of our recruitment teams in 2019 and beyond. Here's how to set yourself and your team up for success for the remainder of the year. How for culture and performance will follow. Look to your existing team. Which of your recruiters still smash their numbers even when you're on holiday? Who does your team miss having around the office when they take time off? These are the recruiters who have already bought into the company culture and will be the key drivers of high performance across your team. What traits do they boast? Whatever these are, think about how they contribute to the team and hire based on the, these positive traits. The traits you go for will differ from business to business and from team to team too. Set collective and personal goals as a team. This is really, really important. Of course, the company has its collective targets that the team should always be striving towards, but what about each individual's personal goals that they need to aim for on a weekly basis in order to get to the ultimate goal as a team? And what personal goals are responsible for motivating your team to perform their best? Hitting at least three quarters of the company targets won't be a driving motivational force for anyone. You've got to go deeper than this. For example, is someone on your team trying to get a deposit together for a house? Is someone else open to take their family on holiday to St. Lucia? Give them a platform to achieve those goals and the bond across the entire team becomes unstoppable. Build personal goal setting into your team meetings so everyone understands and respects each other's goals too. Asking some difficult questions like what do you actually want to achieve can be so powerful and you can continually pull each team member back to their personal goals while coaching them forwards. Encourage them to solve their own problems. It's really, really easy as a manager to find yourself jumping into the middle of an underperforming team and trying to solve the issues yourself. If you're noticing results slip, it can be all too tempting as a leader to step in and take control. But this doesn't actually fix anything. It just postpones your team's problems until another day. A better way to manage a wagging team is to flip things around and ask the team to come up with their own solution to the problem. Give them access to performance metrics and ask them to dig into the data. Figure out what's wrong and come up with a plan to fix it. It's easy to tell someone that they're doing something wrong, but when you actually let them figure it out for themselves and come up with a solution, they will respond much better and feel more accountable and reward when, uh, rewarded when things get back on track. Give feedback. Consistent feedback is often cited as a main driver for motivation in the workplace, and I certainly know that feedback is really important to me. You really can't afford not to devote time to providing ample feedback to your team. Not only this, but you also need to learn to accept feedback as a manager and take it seriously, as this will make you a better boss and create an environment where your recruiters feel empowered and no doubt about it perform better as a result.